Hello guys, in today's video I'll show you how to create a facade from scratch and I'll render it so you can see the results in the end. Um, I'll start from a line and then continue step by step creating this facade. I will start by creating a line. Go here to the shape tab, create line something like this press escape escape again then i will ext extrude it go to the modify tab and either select extrude from the modifier list or you can make a quick button like this you can now watch our video on how to set up here the configure how to configure the modifier set link in the description so the line is extruded. Then I will create a grid. Add edit poly modifier, press 2, which will give you the edge. Select these edges, go to edit edges, and click connect. Next to it, there is a window button, settings. Choose it and create two segments. Okay, go here, select this, settings, and here I will create one. By dragging this you can create a lot of edges, and by right click, with right click, you bring it back to the default number, which is zero in this case. Then, select one of the edges, hold shift, and this selects the, all of the edges here which is ring selection equal to pressing one of the edges going to selection ring select all of them go again to next to connect to this setting and I would give it number 2 press 2 to escape the edit mode edge um, setting and now we have grid on our wall then select the object press 4 which will give us the polygons control and a select all of the polygons and go here under edit polygons to inset next to it there is a window settings press and the sub menu will come over here I'll give um, 0, 05 and here if you press these are the different options of the inset and I will choose by polygon okay and now I will detach these surfaces will give me the glass and the rest of it will be the, mill the mullions Go now here in Edit Geometry and press Detach. I'll call it Glass. OK. And if I go out of the polygons, now I have one object which was the line, and I'll call it Million, and the, the, the other one which is the glass. Let me finish the glass now. I'll give it shell 0 0.1 like this and I will give edit poly go here select the press 4 again which will give me the polygons control and A select all of the polygons and go here below in smooth in the smooching groups and I clean all the smooth would clean all the smooching groups so I don't, don't get strange and odd reflections. Clean all, clear all, everything is cleaned. I will go out of the uh, polygon now and like this. The glass is ready. I can just assign it some blue color so I can distinguish between both objects. So I'll go back to the mirrors. 
give it a show modifier. It remembers the amounts from the last show from the glass, but I'll click right click, which should give us give it a number zero back to default. Here, press zero ten. You can make it according to your units, and I will press here below straighten corners. Let me go to top view and I'll show you here what is this option going to give. Here it's going to straighten these corners. Okay. Now I need to push the glass a bit back so it it is in the millions. I'll go here in the first editable poly. I'll press yes, which means that the um, smoothing groups are going to be undoed. Here I'll press 4. Actually I don't need to, to do this, I just go to the modifier list, select push and then bring the glass a bit to the inside. Then it's going to work the shell and here in the final aid poly I'll select all of the glasses and here I've created these clear smoothing groups into a quad and I'll prove it, yeah, it works. Okay, now I have the glass pushed back so it matches the reality or some of the facets in the reality. So this is a wall poly facade with a grid. We have uh, 500, near 500 polygons. From now on I'll start adding detail details but if you like anything so far please kind reminder consider to subscribe and like this video subscribe to our youtube channel this will help us a lot to continue creating free content okay let's start adding some details firstly i will create here something like a rubber uh, which is a darker place and it's when you have a thermal glass which is uh, two layer glasses you have a darker part a rubber like this so I will first add another edit poly and start selecting these edges with the ring option all of this I selected all of the inner edges like this and I will go to connect. Let me show the edit mode, uh, the wire, wireframe mode. I'll press two segments, I will narrow them and move it like this. A bit bigger. Then I will hold control and go to the polygons. which will select all of my polygons. If you want to hide the selected polygons, press uh, F2. And now I have all of these polygons selected. Go to shrink, which will shrink the selection with one polygon. And now I have this gap over here. And I will give it another material ID to all of these, like for instance two. If I decide one to be the million, two rubber, and three the glass, okay. And now, if I give it materials, this will be uh, one is going to be the facade gray, the millions, and two will be the rubber like this and this is the glass okay we have some small detail over here and another detail that will bring a reality, more realism to the facade is to add a chamfer I will select all of the outer edges here by clicking some of the edge 
from this window and click whoop and I need to do it for the rest for the whole facade and then I will choose the chamfer modifier here I will choose 3 and here I will give according to my units will be something like this maybe a bit smaller maybe 5 just we need a small edge and here in the smoothing groups I will give chamfers only which will mean only the edges so you have a bit of smooth the rest will be without smoothing groups I will add another edit poly above so we can so to say lock the chamfer and there we go now I have a nice little little detail here there is nothing uh, there is no sharp edge in the real world everything has a little bit of chamfer we can even smaller it like let's say can make it three it depends how it looks like in your scene it's according to your tastes and needs and there we go we have modeled a facade from spline okay let me show you quickly how it's going to look like when I render it here you can see the reflection of the Sun the chamfer how it's going to look like with this nice detail the depth of the demulence, depth of the glass, reflections and this rubber when we have two, three more layer, layers for the glasses uh, this is a quick render just to show you let me know in the comments below what you think about it about this workflow, what is your approach and if you found something useful like in this video and subscribe to our channel this will help us a lot support us on patreon so we can continue making free content see you in the next video bye if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.